can kill, I can kill an alligator with my bare hands. Little old E.T., how? They say when a, you want to kill an alligator, Eight, you kill one, it right two, after it eats. Yeah. Right after it eats, you get satisfied. And it goes to a state like it's almost paralyzed. Some of y'all in this room, are you paralyzed? You had a little success? You've done what nobody else in your family has done and now you chilling? Come on, you ain't hungry no more? Next hunting, I need you to stay focused. Why? You should still be hungry. What have you eaten that's got you satisfied? What have you done? What have you accomplished that got you so full? What are your goals? Are you going into the future by using your faith before you actually get what you want? Before you reach that goal, you have to live it in the future and take every step that you need to take to get to that dream. You're not waiting to reach that goal. That goal is waiting on you. We are the creators. We are the innovators. God has given you dominion over the earth. What are you doing with the power he's given you? Don't wait for anybody else. People will try to tell you what you can, what you can't do, but it's all in your hands. So I'm asking you today, where do you see yourself? What are you doing to get there? What type of leader are you becoming? Who's willing to follow you? Right now is the time for you to do what everybody else isn't doing. It's time for you to put more hours in. It's time for you to isolate yourself. Because when you do want to give up, that's the time you got to go in hard. That's the time when you got to get that drive, that grind inside of you. And today may be that day you feel like giving up. But I'm telling you right now, you're about to step up to a new level. And nobody will be able to stop you once you go through this. Yeah, you may have failed the class. Yeah, you may have been divorced. Yeah, you may have lost a child. Yeah, you may have lost a loved one. But don't give up. Fight harder than ever. Show the world that you are going to be great. That the trials in life will push you forward. No one can stop you but you. But you first have to change your mind. This is what I need you to do for me. Because some of you have a hard time staying motivated for a straight 100 days. So what I need you to do for me is I need you to think about those people every day when you're doing what you're doing. Do you have some days where you just want to hit the snooze button? Raise your hand for me. You want to hit the snooze button, right? So watch this. This is what has to happen. That person that you think about has to be louder than the snooze button. So when you think about granny, you got to think about, do I hit the snooze button or do I get up and make it happen for granny? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Who are you doing this for? So the days you don't feel like getting up, just think about them. Somebody tell me in this room, when you think about your siblings, when you think about mom and dad and grandma, when you think about your uncle and aunts, when you think about those coaches, those people who've been there for you, just raise your hand if you say, E.T., sleep is better than that. Just raise your hand and tell me, anybody in the room, sleep is better than them, E. Raise your hand, somebody tell me, E.T., you don't, you don't get it, you don't know how hard it is, E. I probably don't. I just lived in the abandoned buildings. Hey, I trash cans. I probably don't. Maybe I ain't never been through what you've been through, but I've been through my go-through. And you don't, you don't, you don't get here by quitting when you're tired. You get here by quitting when you finish, when you're done.